Hi again, and welcome to another insightful look into what will, may, or could happen in college football this Saturday. Warren Pepper along with Gene Sapikoff here, and thanks to the good folks at Lee & Associates Commercial Real Estate for their sponsorship. Gene, you okay with that first uh, playoff poll, Bama and Clemson 1-2? Yeah, a little surprised that Texas A&M is four, but not too much. I think you could make a case for Washington mm -hmm. or Ohio State there. And I'll tell you what, Warren, I think Clemson's in such good shape with regard to this poll that they can lose a game in the regular season and they will still be in the playoffs. Oh, uh, it's going to shake itself out, uh, you know, with these other three, if, you know, you're okay with Bama one and all that. Uh, the matchups left in November will take care of that. What did kind of make me smile, though, is that Clemson's given the edge over Michigan on the strength of their schedule. The ACC given the nod over the Big Ten. All right, let's get on to the picks. Uh, Gamecocks are actually almost uh, seven-point favorites against Missouri. You buying that? I am. South Carolina has just played differently with Jake Bentley at quarterback. I really like the way they played last week, and I think that Missouri just isn't very good, with the exception that Drew Locke is a good passer, and they have to get after him early, and they have to project, protect Bentley a little bit better than they did last week, six sacks. But uh, I like the Gamecocks to really roll in this one and get some momentum going into their game at Florida. You know, I'll say this. Will Muschamp's team seems to have get, gotten better every week. I mean, I like how they play right now, but the coach is actually telling everybody this week some of his guys are overconfident. Who thought that problem would exist this year? Missouri has lost its last four. I'll go with the Gamecocks as well. Clemson, a huge favorite to beat Syracuse, but it might not be enough to just win. Well, for me, they need to get off to a good start like they did at Florida State, but they need to finish stronger, and that way they can get some kids into the game that haven't played as much, mm. including quarterback Schusler and Kelly Bryant, and maybe get Deshaun out of the game for a while. But yeah, I like Clemson to win this game, though. I really like Syracuse head coach Dino Babers and where he's going with the program. They already have a nice upset of Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. Well, Tigers are favored by, I think, four touchdowns when I last looked, and I think that's very doable, but I also think it's necessary to prove who they are and who people think they are, that they win big, and I believe they will. Now, if you're going to the Citadel game Saturday, here's a small tip on what to expect. When the Citadel has the ball, they're going to run it. And when Sanford has it, they're going to throw it. Uh, which one will put the most points on the board? What a fun classic contrast here. And I'll tell you what I'm impressed with is people always talk about the Citadel and that running game and the triple option. But the Citadel's defense, and mm -hmm. particularly the pass defense, has been excellent mm -hmm. uh, this year. And I asked head coach Brent Thompson about that this week. And, you know, he said they recruit guys to throw well in practice on the scout team to help that defense because they're always playing the triple option, and it's obviously worked for the Bulldogs. I think it'll work this week. I like the Citadel. Well, if the Citadel can control the clock, uh, the big old scoreboard might just blow a fuse if they don't. I mean, Sanford scores 40 a game. And they don't get too caught up in how long they have the ball. I think the Sid's going to have some problems here. I picked Sanford to give Citadel its first loss of the year. And I'm going to hear about that one at some point with neighbors. But there you go. Get your picks posted online. All of our picks coming out in Gene's column on Saturday morning. Good luck. <laughs>